Hey YouTubers, this is Kuro Inu, and I just read One Piece Manga Chapter 763. Um, and like I said, I'm experimenting with not doing reviews and stuff, but um, I'm going to uh, the thing is that the the things that just surprised me this whole chapter was for number one, um, the fact that Doflamingo went through such a rough childhood. I mean, um. And that explains the flashback pictures, like you, if some of you remember, if you're a true, like, One Piece diehard fans and all of that, you, you'll you see, you remember seeing the Shichi Bukai as kids, and it showed Doflamingo wearing his little trademark glasses, but he was on some dirty couch, but smoking a cigar, and he was all covered in filth, and, and now I see why, and like, I'm just like, he's been, he was crying from that flashback, that flashback's obviously traumatized him because people wanted him dead and I mean until he's a world noble but and then you have to consider on the other hand those people did have reasonable reasons to kill him Doflamingo shot two other kids supposedly um they tried to buy off slaves um they gouged one of the one of the kid one of the dude one of the men's eyes out Doflamingo is insatiably cruel as a kid but that obviously getting crucified and and you know by a mob of angry angry regular people just just traumatized them so badly and then you see them living as just poor poor people like Doflamingo and his and his brother Corzone but the interesting thing is like um in the manga he calls him Rokayante Kayan Ro or something like that and I'm not sure what that means. I need to translate it, but um, I need to look it up or whatever. But it's interesting that Corazon has a different name now. If it's just a different alias or something. And another thing that inter that just made me, I mean, I, that made me feel bad for Don Flamingo. The fact that he was traumatized by that. The fact that he had to go through all of that, go through all that suffering and poverty as a kid. And another thing that kind of surprised me was the fact that his dad was so kind. It wasn't even the fact that his, it wasn't like his dad was evil. It wasn't that was greedy or anything. He was actually a nice person. And the other world nobles or celestial dragons just evil. Like they just they just really couldn't stand or couldn't understand the fact that he would just want to become a regular person. And and they just the thing that got me was when the crowd was about to kill Doflamingo and his little brother. His father was like, "Take me instead." Um, Please don't kill my children. And before that, he called the celestial dragons and asked them to at least take his kids back to Majora's. And they just said no. And I'm just like, I'm just like, this is really messed up. And they just said no. I mean, I can understand. Then again, you have to understand these are celestial dragons. They have bubbles on their head because they don't want to breathe that same air as regular people. So I'm, I'm thinking, of course, they wouldn't take no feeling on them back because they're already contaminated by regular people or whatever. And I'm just like, that's pretty messed up. To me, it's pretty it's pretty messed up. It showed that Doflamingo's father was a nice man. And Doflamingo's mother looked pretty nice as well. She looked like she had a very nice attitude. I mean, she looked like she had a very nice personality. Um, his parents both weren't snooty or stuck up. I can't say much for Corazon. Corazon was very pretty quiet to himself. He wasn't arrogant either. Or at least that's what we haven't seen in the flashbacks. And... Doflamingo just, he's kind of like a tragic villain, but then at the same time, he's still the freaking villain, regardless. But, um, another thing that gets me is Law has a D, has the D in his name. Um, and I'm just like, I was not surprised. I was not kind of surprised, but this was, this made me happy to confirm my theory because to me, Law acted like a will of D person. When Virgo was beating him and all of that, he smiled, and when Doflamingo was beating him, and Doflamingo was about to kill him, he asked him why he put so much faith in Luffy, and he said, the D will cause up a storm again. Yeah, yeah, I make funny D puns and all that, but it was like, the fact that he said that, that like, on um, people with them, that Luffy, whose middle, whose middle initial is D, will cause up a storm, and him, his middle initial is D, and they will cause up storms, it's ironic because he, they're both, you know, will be used. And 
Raw exhibits those traits. He always smiles or smirks most of the time. He's pretty confident. Even in the face of death, nine times out of ten, he's very, I mean, even in the face of true death, he's very, he smiles. He doesn't laugh or whatever, but he smiles. He's grinning or whatever. And, and what I can see kind of and what I like about this chapter, like what I like about the fact that Law has a D in his name, is it shows the variety of Will of D people. Um, Luffy, Garp, they both seem, Luffy, Garp, San Juan, Wolf, um, they all seem like people that would smile. In Ace, Ace definitely smiled during his death. Then you have some more serious people. We don't know how Dragon actually is personality-wise. We just know he's dead serious. We know Blackbeard's goofy at times. He seems like a true will of D person, but when it comes to death, he really starts fearing for his life. He believes in fate and dreams. And... Doflamingo kind of said something about fate and dreams, but um, the, the thing is, it shows variety. Law, he's like, he's not funny and outgoing like Luffy, but he's also, he embraces death in a way, but he's kind of fearful of it like Blackbeard. So Law is like in the middle between a Luffy and a Blackbeard. He's like in the middle of it, personality-wise. But, um, just without the funniness. But, um, and then the thing that interested me was the fact that Doflamingo and his crew, they trained Law. They trained him in everything. And, and now I can see why Dellinger is pretty strong. The dude, Dellinger was a baby. And you gotta look at this. Every one of them was training him. Um, every single one of them was training him. Gladius was training him. Lao Ji was training him in martial arts. Um, someone was training him in sword fighting. Every single thing. And Doflamingo was, was teaching him how to read books and, and giving him more books to read. I'm just like, this is just, this is just astronomically family oriented. I can see why Doflamingo called it his family. And to me, that kind of it gets me more attached to Doflamingo, to Doflamingo and his crew because they have such a strong bond. And I wouldn't want Doflamingo to go down, but he's the bad guy at the same time. He has to go down, per se. And um, thing that interested me is Corazon lied. He just said an enemy attack and whatever. And you see all these scars on Corazon, and I'm just like wondering if Doflamingo has the same scars. And um. I'm very interested in seeing Doflamingo without any glasses. They only show like a panel of his eyes. It wasn't like, it wasn't his whole little face or whatever. It was just an eyeball. It was just a, a shocked eyeball and him just putting on the glasses. And I'm just like, what does he have to hide with those shades? I'm like, what? I'm like, what does he, I mean, I just really want to see him without glasses. That's what I really want to do. That's like a mystery. And, um, last and, last and finally, when he revealed his that he had a D in his name, Corazon snatched him up and whatever and asked him if it was true and he told him to avoid Doflamingo at all clock at all costs. And I'm trying to figure out what's the meaning of this. Like seriously, what's the whole meaning of like um I'm like he just said absolutely avoid Doflamingo. I'm like wondering, does Doflamingo have something against people with D in their middle names? I mean, I'm not sure, because he went to Goldie Rogers' execution. He was there. Um, um, I just really don't know. Don't think he wants to be Pirate King. I'm not sure if he's using Law and because of his Will of D, and he knows that Law, if he subconsciously knows that Law is a Will of D user, maybe that's why Don't think he'll kill Corazon. Well, I think that's obvious why Don't think he'll kill Corazon, because I think Law wanted to use a Will of D person. Give them the Ope Ope no me. Have them make him immortal or some type of other something. I don't know. But um, in some way to make him stronger or whatever by sacrificing them as well. Um, and then inheriting the will of D. I personally believe myself that Doflamingo does have D in his middle name. I mean that Doflamingo does have D. Like Doflamingo D Don Quixote or whatever. I'm not sure but I think he has it. Um, I, I just really wish he has it, but I think I'm really interested in seeing why does Law have to avoid Doflamingo? Why was it very important? Um, did Doflamingo have some personal grudge against, um, Will of D people or D or whatever again, or whatever? Did he see Lee use him as pawns or was he planning on using one of them? Who knows? Um, why Corazon is against his brother? That's another thing. 
maybe Corey's own dope nigga, just are absolutely two different people. Um, well, of course, they're two different people, but I mean, personality wise, um, Corazon is laid back and quiet. Doflamingo is very outspoken and outgoing. Um, Doflamingo is like the big brother. Corazon is the little brother. Nine times out of ten, the, little, the big brother boss is not the little brother. Maybe Corazon is not really in this for his own will and whatever. I just personally, I want to see the panel of Doflamingo fighting his own little brother because I want to see what Corazon's powers were. Because everybody in that group had a devil fruit, per se. The only two people, the only three people that have not been confirmed with the devil fruit are four, is Virgo, Lao G, um, let's see, Dellinger, um, and I think that's about it. I think that's about it as far as I can remember. But I want to see if he had like a special devil fruit, if it was the Ope Ope no Me or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, cool, you know, out, like, comment, re subscribe. We're gonna make a little video update of my dreads, twist, whatever, and da 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 da. Bye. Subscribe.